Good morning, guys. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday, but Ma Bear did. So that makes today quarantine day five, day six. Not too sure, but I'm feeling really, really good. I'm about 95% better, I think. It's funny because like the first couple of days, it's like exponentially better. And then now it's just kind of little by little. Not complaining because I feel really good. It's just still I have, um every time I get sick, I get like this weird sinus smell. Cause I think I have a weak respiratory system. So like the, the smell of infection, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but for those of you guys that have like weak sinuses and respiratory, like every time you get sick, you probably have this weird, like I can almost smell like my own phlegm or whatever it is back here, but it smells weird. And I know that um, even after I heal, I'll be smelling it for like a week or two. So I constantly have it. And that's what reminds me that I'm sick, but I do have a pretty big trash buildup. Right here, this is just from like a few days. So Mamba told me that I had food outside. I'm gonna leave this outside in the hallway and bring the food in. We did start a new protocol though. And Mamba was really smart because she was like, hey, you know, like as you're getting better, you're actually the most contagious, right? So every time we leave dishes out there, um, I am putting Gio and Taika more at risk. Although she does come with gloves and masks and all that stuff. Um, it is like kind of like, I don't know, quote unquote biohazard. So now I wash all of my dishes before I bring it out. So this is like completely washed, completely clean. And I pretty much even hold my breath while I'm doing it. And I use dishwash detergent. So now that this is clean, she can take this and put it straight into the dishwasher again and super sanitize it. So that way uh, the goal is to minimize the risk while she's transporting those things. So that's our new protocol that um, that we figured out. So if those of you guys are living the quarantine life, maybe you guys can do that starting from uh, day one to be extra safe. No one's in the hallway? Cool. Okay. Ooh. What is this, a skillet? Mmm, ketchup and salsa? Damn, Zwag. Ketchup and salsa. That looks bomb. That's CUNY. Says my appetite's back. Jill's just been feeding me all the leftovers. She's like, hey, I got some leftover of this from yesterday. You want? I'm like, bring it. Bring it. So I also feel like better um, because I'm not wasting food. And since it's not like I'm really getting my fitness on 100%, I was like, I don't really need all that high protein stuff right now. I'm just trying to heal. And I do have my protein shake in here. Anyways, so I'm gonna eat some of that action. Speaking of protein, I just opened this box that was in this corner. I still have to address all those packages because all those are work related. I did kind of put like physical, like paperwork off to the side. Just been handling a lot of the stuff online, but I do got to get to the more administrative uh, physical stuff. But speaking of these packages and protein, we do have a brand new Barbell Brigade protein that I'm really, really excited about. It's our new Orchata protein. And this took months in development because it's really hard to make something that tastes extremely delicious, but also pack it with protein because obviously the original recipe doesn't have over 20 grams of protein in it, you know? And we used a really high quality protein. We use whey protein isolate. So um, not all protein is made the same. And when you eat protein, because they're not made the same and they're not filtered the same and the purity is not the same, you're absorbing different levels of it. And sometimes you get like tummy aches or you get massive protein farts. We're trying to minimize that. So that's why we use whey protein isolate. Let me check out the nutrition facts in the back. It doesn't even show carbs or fats on there. And you know why? Because each serving has less than one gram. It's actually like, I think we calculated and it was like 0.3 or something. And then so uh, the label company was like, oh, you don't have to put that on. So it's less than one gram. It's pretty much zero grams, zero carbs. It's under 0 0.5. So if you're looking for a low carb, low fat, low calorie, it's only 110 calories but 25 grams of protein per serving, which is a humongous amount, and it tastes delicious if you're looking for protein, 
go ahead and get this. We have this at barlbrigade.com. It's our new Orchata protein. And of course, our labeling is always the sickest. Should probably put it up here with the rest of the supplement. So it looks tight. Look at that. Get that Tylenol out of here. Watch you make Barbell Brigade uh, headache medicine and Barbell Brigade inhalers. Everything that I use. Bam. Look at that. Oh, and did you guys know that we have, this is a, there's a specific reason for our color scheme. So everything that is white, uh, white packaging is health and wellness. Everything that is black is performance. So build muscle, anabolic, creatine, build muscle, build strength, anabolic, our pre-workout drives performance. These white ones are health and wellness, so it's to optimize your body. So that's the difference between the packaging. So if you're looking for um, different supplements to take, and you're like, oh, what should I get from Barbell? That's how we separate it. One is to uh, pretty much turn your car into a like a monster truck, and the other one into race. And the other one is to how do I get proper oil changes, change the timing belt, optimize my vehicle. But time to eat this yummy food. I just finished taking a shower and I feel really good. Actually, I did a really quick workout before I showered, and I think I woke up feeling so good and so healthy finally, not that I'm 100%, but I feel so recovered that I just went right into the workout and I completely forgot to record. So if I do another like quick workout at night, I will for sure uh, show you guys. But one thing I wanna point out is I took a shower, I'm still sweating from the workout, and it felt so good to the point that I'm wearing shorts isn't that crazy because i feel like you know when you're all cold and bundled up like when you're when you're sick that's what you want you know like you just want to be uh like completely warm and you're always very on the side of being warm but when i finally feel comfortable enough to actually wear shorts that's when i'm like oh, i think my body's healing so i feel really really good right now um and we'll see, like each time I work out, I push it a little bit more, you know, just to see if my body can handle it. So hopefully a couple hours later, I'm not like, oh no, I depleted my energy. So we'll see how that goes, but I got to jump right into a meeting. Work doesn't stop. Um, I still got uh, two meetings online today. And once I bang those out, I'm gonna keep going on my Cobra Kai binge. I've been really loving the series um, and I'm in season two now, so I got to see how it ends. You guys want to see something that's freaking crazy? So from the way that I'm speaking and blogging today, I feel like it's safe to assume that this is the healthiest day I've had so far, right? Which is why I decided to buckle down on work. I banged out a bunch of meetings and I try to get caught up on the things that I got fell behind. That I got fell behind? Okay, maybe I'm not that good. That I fell behind on, right? And then I look up to finally take a break and look, it's freaking dark outside now it's nighttime isn't that crazy i think like four or five hours just went just like that gone and i'm sorry because i completely forgot to vlog but i also don't think that there was much updates besides me just having like a normal work day where i wouldn't have um updated you guys during this part anyways this probably would have been the time, like if I was at the office, I probably would have worked and I probably would have packed up and walked to the car and say, I'm gonna go home and see my family, except I don't get to go home and see my family. I do hear them playing and having a good time out there and that makes me happy. I do wanna show you guys something though. This is freaking cute. So Ma Bear um, told me that Taika was helping her um, prepare food. And so she sent me this time-lapse video, which you guys have to have to see. <laughs> so Marbury's like cutting up the Napa. Taika's like washing it, putting it into a little bowl. Look at that little guy just helping Marbury out. How cute. Washing the enoki mushrooms, the bok choy. Look at that little guy being such a helpful helper washing the rice. Oh my god. That's so cute, huh? I freaking love that guy. I missed him so much. I think that's the toughest part about being in the quarantine. Is you're just stuck in this room. And I really miss my family. I really want to see them. I want to hug them. I want to watch TV. I want to lay on the couch. But I can't. Um, 
I just got to be in here and wait till everything goes away. So that's the toughest part. And the second toughest part is just the lack of movement, which I think I will actually do a second workout today. And so at least you guys could see uh, what goes in through that. And then you can, and then maybe I could break down like a really basic, um, uh, like AB type of program that you guys can run. Um, if you guys are quarantined or if you're ever stuck at home and I'll break that down in just a little bit. All right. So the A and B workouts that I'm referring to is these are two workouts when done back to back you pretty much cover all the major muscle groups in your body and you can theoretically do them back to back to back to back to back forever. And I love this way of breaking it down because one, if you have limited equipment, like when you're under quarantine and you only have a room, I think it works really good. Number two, um, if you're traveling, then I do this when I'm traveling all the time. I'm just in the hotel. I don't even have dumbbells. I might just have a suitcase or something. It's perfect for that. Number three, if you just want to do a really quick 10 to 20 minute workout and you don't ever want to go to the gym, you just want to keep it simple. This is something that's really easy to remember. So yesterday you already saw workout A, which is a push up, a row, and then a squat. So we hit push, pull, legs, and it's a horizontal push as well as a horizontal pull. And then we got legs. Today is the B part of the workout where it's going to be a deadlift, a shoulder press, and then a ab exercise. And it could be anything. For my, I'll do jujitsu sit-ups, because that's something that I miss doing. So for this one, you'll notice that the lower is also a pull movement, right? A deadlift, because I am gonna work my hamstrings and my quads and my glutes, but it's also a pull movement, which is why I coupled it with a vertical press. And I also hit core. So through the A and B, I would have hit lower body twice, hit two pressing movements, hit two pull movements, and also hit core. So that's why I was saying, just doing A and B, you hit all the major muscle groups. You have shoulders, you have tries, you have buys, you have pull, push, lower body, even core, and even have a hip hinge movement, and the squatting movement. And you can technically do this back to back to back to back, infinitely, if you just want then something to burn calories, to stay toned and to stay relatively fit. Obviously, if you wanna push your body to the max, you're gonna need a full-on gym, but when I'm traveling and I just wanna keep my fitness up, this is something that I'll do, and I'll keep the rest as short as possible so that I also turn it into a cardio workout. So I am going to do this portion of, of the workout today, and this is workout B. And for me, since I like to keep everything at a good pace, I'll be pulling up my trusty boxing timer again. This time I will not mess up. The round will be one full minute. But I will still keep the rest short at 30 seconds, so I should finish in 15 seconds. Are you guys ready? Here we go. So some of you guys might have noticed on that last set, you're like, wait a second, that wasn't the alternating dumbbell press that he was doing in the middle of it. He switched to Arnold presses. And that's what's the awesome thing about these A, B types of workouts. They're conceptual, so you can swap things out as long as it fits the concept. So for workout A, because it's push, pull, legs, it can literally be any of those exercises that fall within that family. So for me, the first day, I did air squats. That easily could have been lunges. That easily could have been box jumps for legs. That easily could have been Bulgarian split squats. The pressing movement could have been a shoulder press. Could have been clapping push-ups. 
Um, the pull movement could have been pull-ups if I have a pull-up bar. Could have been single dumbbell row if I wanted. And for today, when it was the deadlift and the uh, vertical press, could have easily been Romanian deadlift, a single RDL, single Romanian deadlift. Could have been any hip hinge movement. Could have been a kettlebell swing. And for the abs part of it, could have been literally anything. I just switched it up. Um, wait, did I switch up abs at the end? I forgot. But you can do like sit throughs, sit ups, leg lifts, knees to chest, planks. You can literally swap it with anything, and that's what's cool. So even though it's just A and B, you can swap it with infinite exercises, infinite combinations. And if you're creative enough, you can probably go like three months, maybe even six months straight without repeating an exercise. But every two days, you're guaranteed to hit all the major muscle groups in the body if you follow uh, the conceptual part of the A and B. Hopefully that was helpful to a lot of you guys. And for those of you guys, I know you guys are probably like, what shorts are those? Because every time I wear shorts, it attracts a lot of attention. Well, what I'm rocking is a sneak peek actually for our amphibious shorts dropping in January. And we have our own custom camo. You see that? From afar, you can't tell, but when you look close, then you start to see like the skull. See the skull here. Um, we don't have our full label on yet, but we will have our Barlow Brigade label. These are just the prototypes. And we've made a lot of changes to these ones compared to the last uh, round of shorts that we created. We took a bunch of notes from customer service, our own testing, like um, with way heavier stuff. The other shorts, it tended to peak out the bottom for a little bit, just like how a lot of short brands do it. But um, for these ones, we shortened it. And uh, it, it, no matter how heavy it is, it's only gonna stop right here. And we fixed the waistband so it doesn't collapse. It's like nice and thick all the way around. I think we had some zipper issues. This one zips super clean now. And then also the drawstring on the inside. Some people were saying that like sometimes when you wash it, it gets sucked in. So we tapped it on the back right here. So we have a lot of changes, a lot, a lot. There's a couple more, but I just can't remember off the top of my head, especially after I just did a workout. But hope that was helpful to you guys. If you guys are in quarantine, go ahead and do these A-B workouts. If you just want to maintain and uh, optimize your body, do these workouts as well. Obviously, if you're trying to power lift and try to be the strongest version of you that has ever lived, this will not suffice. But if you're just trying to keep calories off, if you're just trying to stay mobile, keep your joints nice and greased, move around, you just want to be a fit dad, a fit mom, this is a very simple way of programming that you can get creative yourself and you can pretty much do every single day. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, 365. And maybe just rest a day or two whenever you're tired and then go right back to it and think of other creative ways of having a workout. So I was glad I was able to share that with you guys because I think if not for here, I would always train in the gym and I would never have been able to share that little circuit with you guys. Just finished taking a shower and I can't believe I'm actually gonna be putting on my PJs this early. I think it's only like seven o'clock or something, let me see. Yeah, it's only 7.30, but I got my day done, finished all my work, got two workouts in, showered, got my PJs ready, so. Might as well. And Mobber's not home because her and Taika uh, went to K-Town to go pick up some uh, rapid antigen tests. Because we just realized, you know, with me catching COVID, like it was just a matter of time, right? Like, you know how like if you play roulette um, or even like heads or tails, like if you hit tails a bunch of times, um, like 10 times in a row, the chance of you hitting heads after hitting tails so many times in a row it's astronomical it's ex it exponentially goes up so with someone that's a ceo of a company of like 20 to 30 in barbell of 20 to 30 in jk and also partner to people that are 20 to 30 in all of the lotus concepts that's quite a few people so for all three teams or all three organizations to have not a single covid case that's pretty freaking rare so it was just a matter of time before I caught it or Geo caught it or Joe caught it, especially the, the people that surround themselves with all three teams, you know? And so I think because of that, business has to keep going on. So we want to do things the safe and responsible way. 
So we are, uh, Gio is picking up a box of uh, rapid tests for Lotus, a box for JK, and a box for Barbell. That way we can consistently test our people as they come to work. And if people test positive, we can immediately send them home. And yes, they're not 100% and they're not as accurate as the PCR molecular tests, but at least it is like one filter of, and one layer of protection that I feel like not many other businesses are even doing. Like if you go to a restaurant or if you go to like, I mean, even supermarkets, supermarkets don't do anything, but for a lot of businesses, they stop at the temperature scanner and then that's it, you know? But the temperature scanner doesn't really, I think it's more of like lip service. It's what the law wants us to do. So that's what all the businesses are doing. But at least this is like a scientific test. It is scraping the mucus from your nose. So um, she went to go get three of them. And at least now, I can test at home too. So the minute that I feel like 100%, I can test at home. If I feel good, I can immediately go and uh, get tested at the actual urgent care to hopefully confirm that this, it's completely out of my system. And then that way, when I go back into the real world, I can go there with confidence that I'm not a spreader. So that's where she's uh, going right now. You know what I love about my wife? She's a ride or die hyena. Cause I'm just randomly, I don't know. I just get these random taste urges and I was like, Hey, do you want like a slush with boba? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, yes. So I ordered that and I just heard them ring the doorbell and I just heard my bear bring it up. Ooh. And oh, there you are. We miss you. Oh, I miss you guys too. Look at Kitty Taika. And also we got our, our uh, rapid test. So I'll take this later as well. Oh, yes, I got passion fruit. So delicious. I also call them too, just cause um, some places they make their slush with tea and I don't want that to affect my sleep cause it is like nine o'clock now. So I was like, hey, um, do your slushes have tea in it? And then they're like, oh no, no, we make ours with water. I'm like, hey, cool. So that's something that's important too cause sometimes you just get a dessert, you know, just cause you want something sweet and cold. And then all of a sudden you stay awake all night because they made it with tea. But I am excited to try this. I do feel way better. Hopefully it's a negative test because if it is, then I can go to urgent care and then get tested again and get double checked and get cleared that uh, I'm good. But first things first. Mm-hmm. 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 We live during a time where quarantine's not not that bad. Cause imagine like during the Spanish flu days when there was like another pandemic. Ain't nobody ordering shit. You know, like if you're hungry, I can't just text. People can't just text their wives or whatever. They're probably just living out in a tent in an outhouse. And then their wife or their husband got to just go out to that outhouse and just throw food at them, you know? Like throw into the tent and run away. And people just straight up died because they don't even know that they're in a pandemic probably. Times are good. All right, so this is pretty cool. I have the test set up right here. Kind of reminds me of like lab in college or high school. If any of you guys have ever taken chemistry or organic chemistry, you guys know what I'm talking about. There's like a proper way to lay things out. There's a proper order. So we have to be very meticulous with following directions. And we're doing this together. So I guess this is how you do the reading. Um, if you get a just a pink line up top, that's a negative. So that's what I'm hoping I get. But if you get a pink line and another pink line right here, or if you get a pink line and a gray line, then those are both uh, positives. And if you get any of these readings, then I just didn't do it right. So the goal is to get one of these three readings, which means I did it right. But hopefully uh, I get this one. And over here is the actual procedure. So the first step is to fill this tube with this sucker right here and fill it up to that line. 
So I have that liquid, put that upside down or put it right side up and fill it up to that line right there. Then that's when I get to stick this guy into my nose following this diagram. And then you want to put it in here and shake it like eight to 10 times. But I heard you want to do even more. So maybe like 20 times into that solution that we would have poured from here. Then you squeeze the cap so you can pull off more mucus as you're pulling that out. Then you put that cap on top of that and you shake it around a little bit and you put four drops of this on here. Then you wait 15 to 20 minutes. Hopefully you have your reading. But one very important thing, and I'm glad I know this because I've been in a bunch of labs and I've done a lot of like experiments like this in college, is you always want to read every single instruction to get a proper reading. So I think most people that have never taken science classes, they're probably going to look at this and immediately start following this. I read every single instruction and one really important point is place all specimens, test devices, and assay solution at room temperature prior to testing for 15 to 30 minutes. So that's why I have everything here just resting at room temperature because that can affect the reading. So make sure if you get one of these tests, I don't know what brand you guys get, but follow all the instructions. That's why you have professionals doing these things. And that's why I'm not relying on this test alone. I'm just doing this to see if it's even worth me getting into my car and then getting a real test at a medical facility. But I'm excited to even do this at home and to share this with you guys. And uh, we'll find out together. Okay, now that everything has settled at room temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes, now it's time to take the test. One other important note is that it says, once you have um, the reading, you want to disregard any reading after 30 minutes. So you do want to set um, the drops into the sample well, and you want to wait 15 to 20 minutes. And that's when you want to read it, because then after 30 minutes, it's null again. So all of these little steps are really, really important to gain accurate reading. So make sure you read the whole thing over a few times, kind of get it visualized in your head, even kind of test yourself, okay, this step, this step, this step, this step. And even after doing all that, you can still get it wrong. So hopefully I do it right. So if my memory serves correctly, the first thing that we will do is fill this line to 400. And uh, I'd be very careful not to shake this table. But let me put this, this is the next step. I'll put this over here just so I don't shake the table. Set the line. Cool. Don't shake the table. I might drop it. Next thing is to do the swab. So I did get the swab done already at Urgent Care, so I know how deep it's supposed to go in. Remove the wrapper, provide the cutting line, breaks with force. All right. Remove the wrapper. Pull this stick here. Pull it out here. All right, and you want us to stick it in your nose and wiggle it around. Oh my God. That should be good. So they did say eight to 10 times, but um, people are recommending to do 20. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then squeeze it while pulling this out. Okay. Place the cap on here. So we don't lose the sample. We 
spaces here for now. Okay. Place four drops into the sampling well. Probably should open this first. This will be easier. Okay, so this is just yeah, like silica gel. So there's a sampling well right here. There's a little, it's almost like a pregnancy testing. See that there's a little well right there. So place four drops into it. So I match it up exactly. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four drops exactly. I'll give it, I'll give it, uh, it says 15 to 20 minutes. I'll give it exactly 18 minutes and we'll check back in time. All right. All right, so my 18 minute alarm just went off and uh, I'm gonna look at the results with you guys. So I haven't even seen it yet. And uh, let's see what it says. Hopefully it says negative. So it has one pink line, one clear pink line. And what does that mean again? That means negative. Look. Yes. It says negative. Because positive has two lines. Woo. -hoo. That is sick. All right. So that's the first step. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll go to urgent care and get an actual test. And hopefully... It's completely out of my system. This is freaking good news. It is an at-home test, so you can't bank on it, but it is a good reason for me to go and get a real medical test at a real medical facility by professionals, but I am so happy this is freaking CUNY. Um, I might have to FaceTime mom real quick. Hope she's not butt naked. I'm, I'm vlogging, okay? So don't get butt naked. Too late. <laughs> Guess what my test says? That you did it wrong. <laughs> Imagine his two middle fingers. I don't trust you with that fucking laugh that, you're all, that, laugh that you already were about to cough. What laugh? What are you talking about? You just about? laughed. You just laughed, and it sounds like you were like on the verge of coughing. Oh. Nope. Fine. I don't care what well, I'm not going to share my results with you then since you don't care about it. I care, but I think I already know what it is based on your smile and your response. Are you're you sure? Huh? You're also a trickster. <laughs> a trickster? Look at that laugh. What do you mean? Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm not going to tell you. Fine. Don't tell me. Just show me. I'm not going to show you either. Come on. Okay, fine. You, got, you ready to see it? How, how do I view your reaction? <laughs> am I doing this? Am I doing this right? You're missing. Did you see it? Yeah, it says you are uh, negative. Yeah, it says I'm negative. That's cool, huh? I don't know. I don't know if you did it right. We'll do another one in a couple days. Yeah, who knows? I don't know if I I'm did scared. it right. I know. I mean, I don't. I'm that. It's not like I'm gonna freaking bust through that door and go hug you now. But at least I this mean, is one step, one step of many to proving that I'm negative, which is awesome. Well, I mean, you're five days away from just getting out of it anyway. Yeah. And I think you must, you're probably the most contagious right now. Yeah. So I'm happy you're out of the, out of the rough waters. Yeah. But my ass is still staying in here, I know. But your ass is going to stay in there. <laughs> and you know how you have that, that chair on the door? Yes. 
I have one on the other side. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> you bikini. Well, I just want to share the good news with you, you freaking thank bozo. You, Papa. I'm happy for you. All right, thank you. Yay. I mean, I... I, 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 I need to take one. I'll take one tomorrow. You got to walk me through how to do it. Okay. You just pee in the little hole, and then it just checks it. That's a pregnancy test. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Okay, bye, Mama. Imagine it's all like, you're pregnant, but I'm like, what the fuck is a COVID test? <laughs> I know. That's funny. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. So, yep, that's it. That's cool. I'm really happy. Um, for some reason, it feels like uh, I, I got, like, my pilot's driver's license or I got my uh, my motorcycle license or something. It's funny. But but uh, that's it. I think now I'm going to celebrate by watching some more <laughs> Cobra Kai and relax and having uh, a good night and going to sleep. And I see you guys tomorrow. Super fun going through this test with you. But, yeah, the line's still there. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Good night.